Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dennis Burgess, a realtor and property manager with Hampton & Hampton Management Leasing here in Orlando. And continuing a series of videos that I've been doing for a few weeks now. Uh, deal with tenant and owner related issues uh, with regard to our property management uh, business. Today I want to discuss the application process and how you, the tenant prospect, can be a better prospect, a uh, successful prospect, and future tenant of ours. We have here, this is our application to rent, which everybody around the country has some sort of application they use and selection criteria, which is consistent across the board. Everybody treated the same, hopefully. I know they are here. I hope they're treated the same everywhere. But some of the basics that we like to tell folks, you know, if you see a property, you're going to bring in a paper application. There's some collateral information, supporting material that you need to bring with you to our office. Uh, if you're self-employed, whether that be a uh, fellow realtor, or a car salesman, furniture salesman, uh, any kind of salesman, uh, where there's no human resources department, there's no uh, W-2 at the end of the year, what you're gonna need to bring us is uh, tax records to support your income. So we'll know that you do actually earn money and can pay your rent. If you work at a company such as Walmart, uh, the work number is something that they use to uh, take care of their human resources and uh, you know payroll needs. Uh, if you work for Walmart, uh, McDonald's, Disney in this area, uh, you're going to need to print off some of your recent pay stubs and bring those in because we can't you know, afford to pay what the work number wants us to pay to verify that. So, uh, best choice. Again, self-employed, you need to bring tax records. If uh, you work, human resources and things like that available, uh, you need to bring uh, recent check stubs, at least two months. And what we're looking for there is three times monthly rent. That's gross income combined if you're a couple but we need to see proof of that. Uh, we need to get a copy of your driver's licenses. We need to get a copy of your social security card, uh, if possible, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we need to get the application fee. In our case, it's $55 per adult, and we need to get that in certified funds, uh, be that a money order, cashier's check, uh, need to bring that with you. Uh, need to know your move-in date. Uh, the application has a spot for your anticipated move-in date. We need that to be as firm as possible because that's what we present to the owner. Hey, you're going to have a tenant on January 1st. Hey, you're going to have a tenant on January 7th, what have you. If you have any animals, we need to know not just their names, not just that it's a little dog named Pookie or a little cat named Fluffy. We need... Uh, Pictures be great, uh, not mandatory, but uh, some associations, uh, condos and things like that may require them. But we need to know their breeds, their weights, how many of them. And we present that to the owner and the homeowners association or condo owners association if applicable. Uh, breed restrictions apply, of course. No aggressive breeds, no Dobermans, no Pit Bulls, no German Shepherds. Um, so you need to have that with you. No rabbits, chickens, um, you know, any kind of pigs, bone, guinea pigs, you know, things like that. And then if an association requires proof of the renter's insurance or tenant's insurance, um, you know, you're going to need to bring that with you as well. So, we run the credit and criminal check, 
we verify employment with your employer and we verify your rental history with your previous landlord so the best thing that you can do to help us help you and help yourself is to come prepared when you submit your application package it is a package it's this application but it's more than that it's the supporting material that goes along with it that will help the process move along a lot more smoothly it'll help us process an application in 24 to 36 hours versus 48 to 72 hours so again payroll pay stubs or tax records uh, driver's licenses social security cards good contact phone numbers make sure that's on the application so we can contact your landlord or management company if you're gonna submit a security deposit also bring that certified funds so again hope that helps uh, the best thing uh, that you can do to become a successful tenant prospect and future tenant is to help yourself in completing the application as completely as possible as fully as possible and bring in all the collateral information so we don't have to make extra phone calls and follow up and things like that and the next thing you know we'll be telling you you're approved and setting a time for lease signing and you're picking up keys and moving into your next home so i hope all this information helps you and i'll be looking forward to you and your application in no time yes yeah, dennis burgess hampton hampton management and leasing here in orlando where i'm turning vacant and occupied and houses into homes thanks have a great day